structure and here first thing that we will study is copying and comparing structure variables so copying and comparing structure so we have seen that structures are also kind of data types user defined data types so can we copy structures directly so like in int we have int a is equal to 3 then we have int b is equal to a i can 2 and then b will also be equal to 3 so then we can check for if a is equal to b a is not equal to b a is greater than less than b so we can do all kind of comparisons so is it possible in case of structures and it should be so let's say that we make struct again let's take point struct point int x and int y so if this is a structure and i do struct point P1 is equal to 1 comma 2 struct point P2 is equal to 3 comma 4 and struct point P3 is equal to 1 comma 2 and another struct point P4 so now the thing is P1 and P3 looks equal to us but can we directly write that thing that okay if P1 is equal to P3 then print if P1 is equal to P3 so can we write that in fact it is not allowed in C so if you have to compare so you have to do member wise comparison so what i need to write is if for comparing p1 and p3 so i have to write p1 dot x is equal to p3 dot x and p1 dot y is equal to p3 dot y then only we can say that okay print f p1 is equal to p3 so you have to do so we have to remember there is there is member wise comparison so we have to write our own function to do the comparison and similarly i cannot say that okay I cannot write that okay p4 is equal to p1 this will not do again for equality so I have to write p4 dot x is equal to p1 dot x and p4 dot y is equal to p1 dot y then only p4 will become equal to p1 dot y so this thing we have to remember so next coming to array of structures so can we have array of structures so of course we can have and let's say that we have a mark struct marks where i have int m1 int m2 and int m3 so these are three marks i have and i want to represent a class of students so let's say i have struct marks class of 50 so i have marks of 50 students and i can see their marks in all the three subjects so let's say i want to see 
the 25th student's mark so it will be basically class 24 it will be minus 1 because the array element starts from 0 so class 24 dot m1 dot m2 class 24 dot m3 so this is the way you have to access the different students marks so this is array of structures and then if I make it a little smaller and let's say I define struct marks student 3 so I can even in fact initialize this smaller version so I can say 90, 95, 100, a good student, then 70, 75, 80, and next is 50, 90, and 85. So this way I can even initialize an array of structures where each of the parentheses represent one of the members. So this is for defining array of structures and again if I want to know the memory representation so they are all stored in contiguous memory location. So structure elements so the first three so like 90, 95, 100 is stored then 70, 75, 80 is stored contiguously and then 50, 90 and 85. So this way the structure is stored.